about how I use the seasonal prime and set up my trades for going along today in this example. So we're going to look at the chart right here. We're going to see that we got longer term resistance right up here. And we're going to look down here. We're going to see that we got support. Let's see if we got anything else. This could be a level. Right, so we can see that we're currently near this zone up here. So we're going to take a look near the seasonal prime, see what we got. We can see that we got a nice bullish trend coming out of this and a nice dip down. After about day 25 to 32, we got a dip down. So we're going to be looking for a long position. We can see we got a lot of short accumulation coming in on the order stream. So that's another reassurance for me to go long. So we're going to look at a trading time frame down here. And we can see we got bring this in right here. It's a nice little zone. And we can bring in some price action trend line. So this is the trade setup I'd be looking at right now. You can see we're at support on the hourly. We can probably target the 8% for initial targets for trim off. So we're going to take the daily close. We're going to go up 8%. Just right there. So for tending targets, I'm going to be looking at either just straight up levels. So you can see that this level right here is definitely something to pay attention to. Got rejection. You know, this is a nice rejection area right here. So this would be somewhere good to take profits off. And if we're going to let one run, We'll set the stop loss to break even down here, and we'll let one run up here for another few hundred pips, maybe even. If we get lucky, we could let it run up here for a big winner. But since this is a prediction with a little dip, I'm not looking for anything too crazy right here. I would call this a medium term swing. Um, right here. So, yes, for targets, I'm going to be using this level along with the seasonal analysis prediction up here for 0.8%. And that is how I would kind of look for my targets. Also, you could use price action. Uh, say you could draw a trend line. Say if we go into a trend after this and it breaks the trend line, you could just you know trail the position and get stopped out there. Go back down to the hourly. And we can set up the trade like this. We can say if price breaks this trend line, comes back down and retest right here. Right? So we could bring, oops. Put that up there. Give us a nice stop loss. Let this trade develop. So in this trade right here, I would be looking for a break of this trend line right here. A little retest. And then we can see some expansion towards the upside. Long-term prediction is coming out in a dip. So usually when I see that, I am looking for nothing too crazy. Like if it was just coming straight out and it was continuing upwards, I might look to take it past this resistance right here.
maybe target here or possibly up upwards of this level right here which is about 300 pips away um still could do that might leave one position on just the run set the stop loss at break even but that is how I would set up for my strategy start at the daily and we're gonna look for zones so you can see we got a touch here touch here touch here touch here touch here and there's a lot of shorts coming in right because we're at this main resistance right here so you can assume that we're probably going to come up somewhat stop out these people from they have their stops above this high and probably up here a little bit and then we might get a little drop back down we'll see after that drop we'll see if we get um another bullish trend to break this level or if we get a bearish trying to go down we could probably bring price back down to this level right down here